Hey, I'm Michael. I am the VP of Chapter Development for DECAU Ontario this year. I'm working with Dan to help our chapters grow and succeed in all the different strategies that they have, whether it be growth, uh, training, or just chapter management in general. Uh, today I'll be doing a DECA Q and A session, uh, answering seven random questions that I have in this bucket here. I don't know what they'll be, so this should be kind of fun. Uh, haven't been told about them, so let's see what we get here. A penguin walks into a room wearing a sombrero. What does he say, and why is he here? Okay, so a penguin walks into a room wearing a sombrero. What does he say? Why is he here? Well, I guess. Um, if a penguin's walking into a room with a sombrero, it must be a man in a costume. That's what I'm going to assume. It's either Halloween, and he's coming in saying trick or treat. That, that, that's, I don't like that question, but okay. Next question. Team Taylor or Team Katie? Katie as in Katy Perry, for all, all those you don't know, and Taylor Swift. Um, definitely Team Ta Taylor, 100%. Uh, Katy Perry is just a little too old for my taste. Aside from necessities, what's one thing you could not go a day without? One thing I could not go a day without is the internet, 100%. Um, not even going to think about this one. I think anyone in our generation or my age group, I'm, I'm 22 myself, so uh, internet's just a daily part of my life. I use it every single day. I have my phone in my pocket with internet on it all the time. So I think I could possibly survive without internet, but maximum three days. And I'd probably just go crazy. What makes you laugh the most? Um, I'm a very glass half full kind of guy. No, glass half empty. I'll say glass half empty. So dark comedy is probably like the funniest thing for me anytime um, people make jokes about, you know, I don't like to take things too seriously. So I like to joke around and and joke around about myself too and I think that's what makes me laugh the most having some humor in yourself and being able to express that to other people and laugh at yourself whenever you're embarrassed or anything like that your dream city to live and work in um, I don't necessarily have a dream city my dream content would be Europe 100% I'd love to work across Europe uh, I'd love to start in London London would be an amazing city to work in London England uh, just the culture, the vibe, the architecture. Architecture really pulls me to to moving to Europe one day. So I do have a European citizenship, so I'm hoping to go there one day, maybe in the future. Maybe after graduation, who knows where life will take me, but uh, that's my dream city to work in. This is question six. Who is your hero? Who is my hero? Um, I kind of have two heroes, and I say they're my parents, so my mom and my dad. And the reason for that is because uh, they both immigrated to Canada when they were in their 20s and to escape kind of a, a bad time in Europe where their country was communist and it wasn't a very good time. So I guess they'd be my hero is kind of being brave and moving with nothing, just a suitcase full of clothes and being able to make, uh, make something out of that and uh, being able to raise me through that. So that's probably who my heroes are. And last question. Is the glass half full or half empty? So I already answered this question. The glass is, the glass is half empty for me. Um, it's just how I feel about things. Uh, I'm a very happy guy, of course. I'm very positive. But the glass is half empty. I already drank half of it, okay? So that answers that. Thank you very much. And uh, please subscribe to our channel uh, to look forward to other videos that we'll be having. And thank you. I started kicking the table leg, I guess. And uh, at the end of it, I got up and I realized that the entire time